Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in Fountain Hills, Arizona, and I'm with Gary at a great car show, and he's got a fantastic car for you. Gary, your last name? Globstead. And Gary, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1956 Chevy Bel Air two-door post. Let's take a look. And the post is the challenge on this car. So let me show it to you from the front. And you can see it's just glistening right now on that right there. Wow, I've got to step just a little bit to the side just so I can get the sun not banging off the camera there. Wow. So I can see some options on this car. What do we have here on the bumpers? Well, these are the, are the uh, optional uh, bumper guards that uh, Chevrolet offered. Did that also, is this also a custom piece here? No, that's standard on all the 56 Got Chevys. it, got it. And we've got the V here, is that for the V8? That's for the V8. Got it. Correct. It just looks so clean. I love how crisp this emblem looks. It looks like it just rolled off the showroom. Now, uh, what's the color combo here? What do we have on, what is this? This is Sierra Gold. Okay, and, and the, top? the lighter color is Adobe Beige. Let's take a look from the side and show this car off with those colors. Now, I know you've got a couple of Chevys in the 50s range here, so tell me a little bit about those. Well, I, I had a, a 55 Nomad, mm -hmm. uh, which was coral and, and shadow gray, which I no longer have, but I do have a 57 Chevy uh, 210 two-door hardtop, which is somewhat rare uh, because most of the 210s were, were postcards. So you had to uh, complete your, your uh, challenge by having that post right there. That's correct. Got it. I understand it. It's like I've said before, what's the hot wheel you want? The one you don't have. Yeah, that's, right. that's true. <laughs> Let's open up the, uh, the hood, shall we? Oh, wow. That is really clean. I'm going to start us right there because the sun's on it. That looks great. I'm just going to light that. Now, what do we have? The uh, oil bath here? Well, it was oil bath, but I, I got rid of the oil bath and put a, 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 a regular air filter? Regular element in it, yes. Got it. I understand that. With a cubic inch 265? That's correct. Yeah. And we've got the big bugle here. We'll have to blow that horn. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we, uh, let me just, single master cylinder, I see. That makes it a little exciting. Let's uh, fire it up, shall we? We'll fire it up. We'll blow the horn. I'll listen to it idle, and this one actually will turn around because the want to get that back end in the sun. Let's blow that horn. Nice. All aboard. <laughs> nice. Wow, is that smooth, right, Gary? Yes, it is. Let me listen to that idle. Can you step on the brakes for one moment? Great. Just for grins, throw it in reverse. I want to show how those tail lights, or the reverse lights, work with the brakes. That's beautiful. Okay, we'll put it in uh, neutral. Did it come with dual exhaust, or did you add that? No, I added. Yeah, I was. The uh, the 265 two barrel came standard with single exhaust. Okay. Do me a favor. Give it a little rev, would you please? That sounds good. Have a thrush muffler on there? Or? Yes, they're, they're, <laughs> they're gonna, thrush turbos. Thrush turbos. All right, we're gonna turn that Same around. With you, we turn it around, and there was a reason why we wanted to turn around. Look at that in the light. I didn't want you to miss that. What a great stance! All the jewelry on that tail light, the V. This just looks perfect. And here's those bumperettes you talked about. Yes, that's this this part of the of the bumper in right there. Right there. Let's open up the trunk, shall we? That looks great. Wow. Look at this. 
like a brand new 56. Yeah, pretty looks like much. It, looks like you just drove it off the showroom floor. Oh, it's been driven yeah. some. <laughs> <laughs> I like that about it. All right, we'll close that. Do me one favor. Uh, kids, you'd never find the, the uh, gas tank on this one. Show them how that works. Okay. You turn that. Yep. And it comes down like that. Well, I still wish they would do something like that mm -hmm. today. Because that is such a cool feature. You would have kids today. Go ahead, we'll put it up. Mm -hmm. And turning that, you would never figure that out. I want to show you this. Come on back with me. I just love that shot right there. Well, that's a good one. All right. May I open it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Look at the sparkle in the seats. And I hope the sun can show that. You've got this nice door. I like the way the smoothness, I'll show you that even from the side, how that looks like that from the side. It just kind of sticks out. And then you're greeted to this great instrumentation. You have body by Fisher. We've obviously got the bench seat. You can see the piping here. The back seat looks great. The headliner's fantastic. As we sit inside it, you've got that Chevrolet right there, right in your chest. Was so was this car rest, obviously this car was restored. How long did the restoration take? That I can't really tell you because I did not restore this car. Uh, but it was restored in it was restored uh, I believe in the uh, mid nineties. Mid nineties. It's got all the bells and whistles in here. There's your speaker, your clock, your um, tissue dispenser, this the radio. What is this right here? That's called a traffic light viewer. Uh, if you drove too close to the traffic lights that used to be over the streets, they hung over the streets. Uh, if you got too close to them, you couldn't see them because they were too much uh, straight above you. So the light would hit it. Right, this is a prism. And if you have that set correctly, why uh, you can just look at the prism and see the lights uh, just about straight above you. Got it. That was a good thing. I like the little Chevy bow tie right there for the high beams. And it just looks great. Well, the, uh, I just saw that too on the post. Well, the only thing that's left to do is uh, let's take it for a ride. Okay, Lou. Here let's here go. the 56. It sounds smooth. <laughs> it's got that little rumble to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just smile like little kids. What a great car. We had to make a little noise. Yeah. Just to let them know we're here. Right. <laughs> what a great toy. Any fond memories when you're driving this one? Oh yes, these are the cars we had back in high school. <laughs> what stories can you tell me that don't get us in jail? Uh, well... <laughs> it's a G-rated channel, go ahead. I, I'm not too sure if, if I should tell you any of those stories. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll, keep, we'll just talk about the ride. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good stuff right there. I just show people where we're at here because it's just a beautiful environment too. Straight down here. Yeah, sure. Look at this. Just a little strip down Fountain Hills. Well, I'll tell you what, we're making our own memory driving this one, right? Today. That's true. Yeah, this is good. I really looked forward to showing your car with the uh, to the Globe because uh, first of all, it's just so clean. You know, it's. Uh, it's the middle child, right? It's it's not the 55, it's not the 57, and you just don't see as many 56s. How many do you see? Well, yeah, of course, when you own one, you see more. Okay, you know, all right. It's like any car, but uh, actually, the uh, the 56 probably used to be the most under uh, the the most or the least desirable car yeah. of the three. But I think it has picked up quite a bit uh, in the later years now. 
people are just kind of accepting it and uh, wanting to see it, I think. I think that's yeah. it. It's become the, kind of the, the rarer one of the three, and you just don't see them as often. That's true. But let's just show that view right there for people. Oh, that's gorgeous, right? What a great day. It is a beautiful day. A little bit windy, but really nice. Yeah. Look at the water and that. <laughs> Not yeah, too that's shabby. beautiful. Bill, what a great car. We're going to take a little more ride. Thanks so much for being on my car story. You're very welcome, Blue. Thank you.